How do I know if I have a slow metabolism? What are the signs of a slow metabolism? Hmm, great question. Now, your metabolism does more than just burn fat. That is part of what your metabolism does, but also your metabolism is in charge of, you know, utilizing energy in a lot of forms uh, from food, nutrients, things like that, and using that for energy as well as body stores of energy, but also it's in charge of detoxification for your system. So if you have a slow metabolism overall, you're not going to burn fat or burn energy stores in your body very well, but you're also not going to absorb nutrients very well, and you're not going to detox very well either. Mmm, right, yes. Well, I am Dr. Beth Westy, women's health and hormone expert, author of the books The Female Fat Solution and The Female Menopause Solution, as well as host of the podcast The Female Health Solution. And making sure that you can actually get your metabolism working and functioning is one of the main things that we do in the Female Hormone Solution program. And you can learn more about this program and actually get on the wait list below this video. And this metabolism piece is a really key thing. I hear so often that women are told, oh, just start cutting these things out. That's how you're going to lose weight. Oh, this supplement boosts your metabolism. Do this fat burning workout. That's going to help your metabolism. That's not actually how metabolism works. Your metabolism should be working for you in your system. And this is a natural process. So what we do is really help your body function better so that this metabolism can work for you. If you're told, and I was told this, I was told this myself from a trainer at one point when they were saying, oh, well, if you really wanted to lose weight, you would cut out the creamer in your coffee. It's that creamer in your coffee that you're drinking is why you haven't lost another five pounds by now. And I was like, are you, seri are you serious? Are you serious right now? What? I use two tablespoons of a all natural plant-based creamer in my coffee and that's what's holding me back? Are you kidding me? Like, yeah, yeah. It's that, you know, it's the sugars and everything. You know, that's what's really getting in the way of your metabolism. And I was like, if my metabolism's working for me, isn't it going to burn off what I feed and fuel it? You don't have to be perfect on a diet for your metabolism to work right? We have to use certain tactics to get your metabolism to work for you. Again, that's what we do in the Female Hormone Solution Program, so make sure you're on that wait list. Um, but the signs of having a slow metabolism, the first one I'm going to talk about is, might be a, a surprise to you. You might be thinking, oh, it's weight gain. It's not being able to lose weight. And yes, that is one of the signs, but the first sign to look for for a slow metabolism is actually fatigue. Actually, fatigue, being tired, being exhausted, not feeling like you have the energy that you want throughout the day. Yeah, that's a really significant one. And then of course the weight gain, weight loss resistance. Um, you can also have constipation. Constipation, disruptive gut issues, that type of a thing. You can have a loss of muscle mass, right? Um, again, making sure that your body can detox well. So if you have signs that you're not doing that, that is another key that your metabolism is not working. If you have a hard time regulating your body temperature. That's another key thing. And then the last thing I'm going to talk about is actually something that might really surprise you. And this is a question that I ask people on a regular basis when we work together in the program. And I, I had somebody ask me this the other day, which is why I'm including this and making sure I spend some time talking about this in this video, because it's essential that you understand this with your metabolism. Questions that I routinely ask women that I work with are, how are your hair, skin, and nails doing? That's one of the first questions that I ask people when I go through their intake forms from their Dutch test. Tell me about your hair. I wanna know about your hair. Do you have hair loss overall? Is it falling out? That's a sign of slow metabolism. Do you have a hair that's like brittle and breaks easily? Dry hair, right? Sign of a slow metabolism. And you might be thinking, what? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Fingernails, fingernails, right? If you get your nails done, right? And I have like, these are non-toxic nail stickers, right? Um, but when I take them off, I do check my nails. How, how strong are your nails? Do you have healthy, strong nails that grow fast? Or do you have nails that are brittle, weak, flimsy, or that peel or break easily? One of the number one things that I hear from women when we start improving their metabolism is not about fat loss. It's not about any of that. They feel better. They get better energy and their nails grow faster. I had one girl tell me, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm cutting my nails like every week now. That's crazy. I was like, well, how often did you cut them before? Well, I cut them every like 
month or two, they didn't really grow. What? <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible. So having your nails actually grow is a sign that your metabolism is improving. And the last thing, your skin. Now you can have skin issues, um, you know, acne or things like that that's related to your hormones. You can have skin issues that's related to your digestive system, your gut. You can have skin issues that's related to your immune system or autoimmune reactions, things like that. But having overall thin, dry, papery skin is another sign that you have a slow metabolism. Crazy, right? But you've not heard anybody talk about that. Right? When people talk about, oh, if you want to boost your metabolism, take this thing. Is it improving your overall health and function? Then it's not really going to be a lasting improvement on your metabolism. Do this workout for metabolism. Is it really helping your metabolism? Probably not, right? How do we get our metabolism going then? Well, these are things that we do in the Female Hormone Solution Program. Teach you how that metabolism functions and teach you how to work with it. It starts with getting enough nutrient in your body. It starts with working with how your body functions overall. And it starts with balancing your hormones. And these are all things that we dive into. So I can't wait to see what your hormone report looks like. And please let me know if you have any questions. You can always comment below with a question. If you're ever not comfortable commenting, don't hesitate to reach out to me privately. You can send me an email and say, hey, saw your video on the metabolism, slow metabolism thing, and my nails have always been like this. Does that mean I have a slow metabolism? It can, right? A lot of times women think that, oh, my nails have always been crappy. I've always, I've had nails that chip and peel for years. You've probably had a slow metabolism for years. So these are things that we dive into, and I can't wait to see what your report looks like, and I can't wait to hear about how this shifts and changes for you.